Now, very important not to overthink it. So, this is my head shape here. This is how I'm going to do this here. This is my forward shape here. Uh, this is my back shape. Small ear shape. Okay. And once again, no fancy lines. Just keep it, keep it simple. Like this here. I'm starting to do it a little bit. Okay. One line of ideas, man. Let's see. Look at my configurations. Look at my configuration here. Um, you know, easy. Uh, this is the easiest way to do it. Just go ahead and look at the where you want your nose to be. So I want my nose to be about right here. I want a round, small shape. Yeah. Okay, now I'm starting to get there. Now I'm starting to feel it. Now I'm starting to feel what I want to do. See how see how when I break it down and I go real simple, then my drawings get a little bit more powerful. Right? Just one line at a time. Okay. Just keep it calm. All right, now that's that's we really really what we wanted to do right there is really um, now if we wanted to do this is once again this is having firm command of what it is you want to do once you start getting com comfortable with drawing one just if you can without sketching draw know what you want specifically then your drawings will take a a different turn now from here we can talk about well what do we want to do differently so this might be this might be the base of the picture with all my basic shapes okay so now once I understand that I can do something like this I can shorten the forehead let me show you what I can do I can do this and then I can bring the forehead all the way back and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna shorten that shape and then I'm gonna make this shape and I'm gonna bring the shape down and I'm gonna make it longer Okay, so let's say I really wanted to make that face longer, right? I'll come over here, and you can see how I made it real long right there. This is right here where my ear shape, I'm gonna really make the ear shape small, right? And then I'm gonna come up, and I'm gonna go over, and then I'm just gonna bring it down like this. So that might be a different idea. Now his neck gotta come way around here, right? Like this, in order for us to do something different. Okay, his eyebrows, might be, you know, like this here. We're gonna make them smaller, of course. Okay, so I made everything longer, right? So what I could do, but I could I could leave everything, I could go with a bigger, I, I really wouldn't wanna go with a bigger nose. I could go with a bigger nose. I don't know how that would look. Um, you know what, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna do something like this. And I'm gonna go with a more fuller, a full nose shape on this one, okay? And then I'm gonna use my shape, I'm gonna do my shape like this, and I'm gonna drop it down a little bit more. Cause I'm drawing a cartoon, I'm not trying to draw the exact, see what I'm saying? So I just want a, a straight up little smile like that, right? Just a generalized smile. You get what I'm saying? So I, I blow it up his teeth a little bit more um, I'm going to come around here and just go into the shape here a little bit more. All right, maybe come down here and do that right there. And then maybe with the eyes, maybe how, can I do a different, you know, what I could do here, I could do a shape like, uh, you know what? 
I could do I could do a shape like this. I could go more like I could go more angled on the eye shape like this. More angled, right? All right. You know what I'm saying? So I want a little bit more angled. Okay, so now we got a simple. That's a real simple. Now that one came out. Man, that one came out really nice. Now right there, even though both of them look like him, I mean, this right here, both of them could be his, you know, they can be a pretty uh, uh, a pretty uh, close cartoon for him. Right? awesome and then we can just do this right here we can add some you see how I did that that smile you got to get real basic with your smiles right get basic with your smiles stop thinking you know don't think so don't think so much when you're doing your, your pictures you know what does it mouth feel like you know oh, don't be afraid to experiment make the smile a little bit more outstanding what is in the picture um, you know you got to learn how to draw from your feelings okay so with this one right here I went with a, uh, a longer shape, okay? Okay, this one I went with more of a, this right here is more of a, a plain, exact, it's more of a portraiture, you know what I mean? Cartoon, cartoon style, just real basic. Cartoon, and then we said basic, and then this one's a little bit more caricatured with those shapes in there. Um, now, what else could I do? I'm not sure that I could smush his head this way, how that would affect my caricature, right? You know what I could do? This is what I could do. I could go with a 3D type of a situation. So, um, let's do this right here. Let's let let's let's make the shape. Let's let's bulb it out a little bit more on the forehead. Let's bulb it out a little bit more, right? Like this. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead, we'll come down, right? But when we get to the bottom of the shape this time, what I mean by 3D it out is I'm gonna make the bottom of the beard kind of like its own little shape like this. So you'll see what I do when I get down there. All right, I'm gonna come down here. And then I'm going to use a little bit more of a straight line idea. I'm going to go straight line at the bottom. So I want my whole shape there. And then I'm going to come up here. And uh, I can see my ear shape is going to go right about here. So I'm going to make that ear. I'm going to keep it real small because he just doesn't have big ears. And then I'll do this. Right. And then I'll come around here. I'll come down and make it stick to the head a little bit more. So each side I'm, I'm changing something a little bit up. All right, and then I'm gonna come down here, Ooh, right? Now watch this. Now what we're gonna do here, uh, we'll go with a uh, same thing on the eyebrows. It's not really much we could, you know, we could go like this and then a little bit more like this, right? So we'll put that eyebrow up here a little bit more, right? So he's a little bit more, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, he's a little bit more like that, right? All right, now we're gonna do like this here. We're gonna flatten that nose shape, okay? And then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna bring that shape in. We're gonna connect it, right? And then watch what we're gonna do here. We're gonna go with a really small mouth because we don't wanna conflict with what I did with the beard shape. So I'm just gonna use it once again, use a really simple shape, but I'm really gonna turn it up a little bit, right? I'm gonna make it real small like this, all right? Give him a, maybe a, a bigger bottom lip. Okay, we forgot to put his mustache over here too, so. All right, and now we go over here. I like the eyes off the last one, so I'm gonna stick with that idea, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna go with a more of an edge up type of a situation. So I'm gonna use a lot of sharp turns right here to bring it in, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give him a little bit more of a jazzy look with this one here, okay? All right. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna hit it with this line here. I'm gonna draw my lines like in the closed eye position. And that's a little trick that I use a lot of times when I don't know how I wanna position my eyes. That's a way for me not to have to commit without, I can see what it's gonna look like without committing. 
and then now I could come over here and I'm gonna make them a little bit more chinky on this one, right? Did I just say chinky? I said chinky. Okay, just like this. See that? So I went a little bit more chinky on these ones. And then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna bring that shape down and this shape right here, right? Okay, and then do like that. All right, so all I have to do here is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this shape like this. So at the bottom, it looks a little bit more 3D, you know what I mean? You got, can you see what I'm saying? It looks like it's kind of coming out here and then the bottom is kind of sticking out a little bit and then you will put his little shirt in there, right? So now we got three different, so we do the same guy, okay? But we drew him in three different ways, right? We got three different ideas. And it's all up to you, which one do you like? But the thing is, is the simpler you keep it and the more you understand, like this is what shape I want, you know? Um, and once again, you have to check out my Patreon page because I got videos where I'm talking about this. Next month, we're gonna have a, a series of videos that's gonna cover a lot of simplification of your facial feature shapes. So this is gonna really help you with your speed and your accuracy. So again, let's go back and look at the three pictures, okay? So this is kind of where we started at, okay? And and this looks a little bit portraity, but it looks like him, you know what I mean? You, you could see the likeness there. Okay, now here we went with a little, uh, something a little bit more, a, a longer, okay? We, uh, we changed the eyebrows up a little bit. We went with a little bit of a different nose shape, but the mouth shape, you can see I kind of turned up a little bit more than this one, okay? Here I went with kind of a straight line beard shape and the hairline is really not that set back on this one, but I'm still able to you know, get a good likeness of him. Now for this one, you'll notice that I went with a little bit more of a curvature on the forehead, which made it really, really, really bought it out a lot more. You know what I'm saying? That likeness. If you look at that forehead shape, it's like that round fullness of the forehead and then I foreshortened it so that I could go longer on the bottom of the face. So, um, Caricature is a lot about understanding the, the dissipation of energy. You know, when you take something from one place, then if you take from one place and another place must suffer because you took from that place, which ironically, that's what we're going to be going with. And I work. Hello there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, you did. Well, then you see that subscribe button below. Push it and after push the bell icon next to it and select the all 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 option then you will get notifications of all new uploaded videos and when I go live oh yeah so thanks for watching and subscribing and check out these other videos for more cool stuff have a great day and happy penciling